Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. For today's painting I will be using this cold press watercolor paper. It is 20 by 40 centimeters, 300 gsm or 140 pounds. I will divide it into six parts, so to make six bookmarks and for today I will be painting three of them. I've just placed the washi tape in the middle part, just to divide it into two parts, the first three I'm gonna paint today, and also I did do the lines, pencil lines, to just divide it into three parts, just so that I know where each bookmark is, and you know, I won't be painting borders, but I do want to know where it is. Also, I've made my sketch and I've traced it onto watercolor paper because I just do want to know where the how the composition is going to look. Also, today I will be using these paints, watercolor paints I made myself. I want to try them out and see them. I think colors are so beautiful and vibrant. So I do want to try them on and let's see. I think they're, they are pretty natural colors, you know, and I think they will be, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I will start off with this, I don't know, that's a yellow, but not really yellow, some darker yellow color. And I did prevent the entire paper and then afterwards I'm just with a larger round brush and quite an amount of water in it, sprinkling some paint here and there, painting the background and afterwards just mixed some that is actually pinkish, not really pink, but just this beautiful earthy color to paint in the flowers and you know, I'm, I did not prevent the paper this time, but I'm, I just painted the one petal and took a large amount of water in my brush and then painted it, you know, but I did leave some places of that petal, those petals and that flower also white because, you know, I do want some diversity and adding a little bit more of the paint down in the lower part and where I see fit to paint the shadows and as I said, mostly in the lower part of the flowers. I'm also picking up some paint because I do want to want my petals from the flowers to be visible just to see that there are a few petals, not only one. But later on I will add a little bit more details. This is just the first layer. And I did decide to add a little bit of that yellowish color also onto my flowers and especially on the top of those flowers. Since I'm also just trying out those colors, you know, I am mixing, I'm trying to see what I can get. Some beautiful color to also paint in the other flowers. And I did decide to paint all the flowers different colors because I do want them to be versatile in its shape, size and also in its color. So I'm painting in the petals of the left flower right now and as you can also see I did not prevent the paper but I'm just starting off with a little bit more of the paint in my brush and then just rinsing it and smudging that paint into the edges of the petals and then I'm just adding a little bit more of the paint nearest to the center of the flowers because that is where I want my flower to be the darkest and the uh, outside of the petals I do want it to be a little bit lighter so that is how I decided to paint them and as you can see already those colors they really look beautiful I, I really do like how they look and after that I've decided to add a little bit darker I think that's some brown dark brown color to paint in the parts just nearest to the center of the flowers and I'm also using a detail brush because this time I do not want a, a lot of water and if you do add a lot of water at this point in this part of the flower it will spread in the entire flower and that is not what I really want here. I do want that brown to stay nearest to the center of the flower. As you could have seen my flowers just bled a little bit outside the borders. I don't mind that but they, was, they were looking harsh and I didn't want the harsh line this time so I just smudged slightly the paint and pick it up with my towel. Afterwards I moved on to painting the last flower 
larger last larger flower and that one I decided to paint in the lighter the petals and then add a little bit darker color to the center and to the edge of the petals so I've just added a darker color nearest to the center and then just spread it slightly downwards and that is also what I'm doing right now just adding some veins to the flower and in a darker color Afterwards, I moved on to painting the center of the flowers and since it's facing upwards, the center is going also upwards and I painted it in this lighter brown color and now just to the lower part of, the, of that center, I'm adding a little bit of the darker color. And I just try to avoid touching the petals because I do want that white space between the petals and the center of the flowers. I do believe it makes it look like it's a little bit lightened and it looks a little bit nicer. But if you want your center to touch the petals, go ahead, just do that. The paint will slightly bleed also into the petals if they are still wet and that will also look very nice. That effect will also look very nice. Now I'm going back to the flowers I painted first and adding in some details. This time again using the same color but a little bit more of it, a little bit more of the pigment and just making the distinction between the petals and again made, making that part nearest to the stem of the flower a little bit more darker. From there I'm painting in the details also on the other flowers and again painting that center a little bit darker and going outwards just painting it slightly lighter. And you know I'm just picking up the paint which I will add. Don't be bothered with the paint I'm using. Just use whatever paint you have and whatever color you want your flowers to be. I did want these bookmarks to be pretty romantic you know so I did use this a little bit vintage I would say colors and very very romantic so you know just use whatever colors you like if you want to use pink yellow green whatever colors black brown whatever colors you like just use whatever you like and as you can see I'm just going here and there just adding in a little bit of the details to my flowers one more thing I did notice is that these paints don't bleed that much so just also keep that in mind they're not you know very some paints they just bleed a little bit more and some a little bit less and for this one i've noticed they don't really bleed that much so you know be careful if you want the same effect and the, those flowers to look pretty same as mine just be careful not to use too much water pigment you know just be aware what sort of colors are you using do they bleed a lot if not you know they're pretty similar to mine if they do bleed a lot just use a little bit less water and now i'm just moving on to painting these smaller flowers and buds and i've painted them painted them with this yellow color and right now i'm just adding that darker color in the lower part of the bud or just in the center of the flowers depending if i do want it to be the whole flower or just the bud again just touch a little bit more of the touches details to my flowers adding a little bit darker paint to the center of the flowers and to the lower part of the flowers and now I will paint in the stems and for them I'm using this green color and also a liner brush script brush because you know I do want those lines to be very thin and I do not want them to be thick because I don't want it to you know stand out compared to the flowers themselves so I'm painting them pretty thin and I did use as I said first green and on top of the green I will add that a little bit darker brown color here and there you know and those two colors will mix and create beautiful shadows and highlights on our stems. I also decided to paint in some leaves to the flowers, stems of the flowers and then I'm just painting in in the way that I'm going with the tip of my brush, pressing slightly harder and then picking up my brush. And that's pretty much it. I'm also adding the darker color nearest to the stems and again playing with some shadows and highlights.
when finished with the flowers i added in a couple of birds and again i did not try to paint any particular shape i just you know painted them in somewhat a letter v and also decided to for some reason paint in another flower i don't know really why but i was just missing a flower there and again did some last details and touches on the flowers and when I finished with those flowers, I noticed I do have some pencil lines visible. So I decided to, you know, erase those lines. But first I was being careful that the paint is completely dry. Don't do that. Not, no, no, no. Don't go with your eraser. If your paint is not dry completely, you will smudge it. So just make sure it's dry completely. And with that, I'll be finishing off with this bookmarks and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you liked it and do tell me what you think about those colors and if you do like this video just give it a thumbs up and comment tell me what you like what you didn't like about it and maybe give me some suggestions and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel that would really really mean a lot to me and if you want to go a step further please join my channel more details about that you can see if you press that the join button and you know you can see what is offered and then decide whether you want to or not join thank you again guys so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye